Hey everybody, uh, I know it's been a really long time since my last video, so I just want to apologize about the huge delay, but hopefully you guys understand that school comes first, and it's been a very intense semester, so I had to dedicate myself 100% to this semester. So thanks again for your appreciation and all the feedback I've been getting. My channel's been growing without any work, so I'm really ecstatic about what's been going on. So thanks for all your support, it means a lot to me. So let's get into it. Today what I want to talk about is the electronics lab. It's not really feasible for everybody at the start. It's very expensive to get. And to be honest with you, it's a risk. If you're not into electronics and you bought all the equipment, it's sort of a waste. And of course you can resell it, but you'll never get your money's worth. So what I want to introduce to you today is a program I discovered this semester. It's called MicroCab 9 Evaluation. And basically what it is, it's a free program that allows you to evaluate circuits. And you can design pretty well anything, uh, up to three pole uh, circuits, uh, filters, so it's pretty unique and you can actually get pretty in depth in it and it gives you component values and stuff like that so you're actually using like real transistors such as the N2904 and stuff like that so it really allows you to give accurate evaluations of actual circuits and the best part about it, it's free. Now the actual program is I think $4,000 but the trial version which is completely open to anyone I think all you have to do is assign your email and you can use it to evaluate these circuits so there is no risk. So what I want to show you is the actual program today and how it allows you to actually design pretty complex circuits without any risk and very fast evaluation. So let's get more into it. So just one little quick note, I'm not going to go into how to use the program today. Uh, this is more just uh, me talking, just rambling about random things I want to. So I just want to say that it's not going to go into any elaborate details or any complex circuits. It's just going to introduce you to the program itself. So one of the first things I want to focus on in this video is the actual component values and how well you can set them up. For example, right now I'm just showing you how you can set up a voltage source. And the fact is that you can have a lot of details going into this program. For example, you can rise, uh, set up the rise time, the fall time, you know, the magnitude of the AC cycle if you want a sine wave or a square wave. So it's very really unique in what you can actually set up. So what I have here is an extremely basic uh, circuit. And what this is going to allow us to do is actually evaluate. One of the th cool things about this program is it basically allows you to have an oscilloscope that can measure current and voltage and all these fun little things. So in our circuit here we have an AC source which is a 1000 kilohertz uh, with magnitude of 10 volts. And then we have a 100 ohm resistor in series with a 1 nanofarad uh, capacitor. So what we're going to do right now is just evaluate the circuit and actually see what's going on to show off what this thing can do. Now for the actual component values I didn't enter in a lot, everything's ideal. So it's going to be very basic just to represent how awesome this program is. So right now what I'm doing is basically setting up the scope equivalent. So it's going to tell us the variables that we want to measure as well as the time range and other little properties like that. So it's a very unique process. So let's actually see the results of our circuit. So right here we can actually see the results of the circuits and how it's actually performing. The voltage coming in and out as well as the current. So it's really unique. And the reason why this program is so awesome is it allows you to develop things without actually putting anything together and establish what they'll be doing very accurately. So this is a very unique and powerful tool that hopefully you can use and utilize in actual design. Uh, right now I'm going to be designing a, an audio amplifier and I'm going to design the entire circuit using this and then order the parts to ensure that my calculations and the components should actually work so when I actually assemble it, it's just going to be a matter of starting them together instead of trying to establish if the components will actually mesh well together. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to be producing a lot of videos for these next couple of weeks just because I can. So once again, thanks for all your support. I really appreciate it and there's going to be a lot more to come. Thanks a lot.